What's going on, YouTube? Hey, guys. How you doing? As you may know, because it's always the same 30 people that watch it. But you're on the right. maybe. Yeah, okay. Let's well, somewhere around there. Let, let's get it correct. It's, there's 32. Yeah. But that's... It's growing. It's growing. A little bit. Slightly. Slightly. It's slightly. Good. Slightly. It's kind of like stock market kind of watch it go up yeah. and then you lose a couple yeah. and then it goes up yeah here and then it stays and then it goes up one here stays and then goes up one you're like heck yeah oh, what is so we haven't lost any in a while that's so. good good job thank you stay sure. stay there stay there go up <laughs> invite your friends yes we want to shoot for the moon here at least the stars Stars. Maybe the sun. Ooh. I like burning bright. Well, that's why you wear white all the time, so you're exactly. bright. Exactly. Not just because your personality is so bright. It is. It's bubbly. Very, very bubbly. Yep. It's kind of hard to get kinda, that kinda, through the camera, though. Kind of like stray animals. We. We. Yeah. We. Anyway, it's early in my world. In yours as well. Well, hold on. You guys kind of like late. Yeah, you guys don't watch it at 10 a.m. I'm going to assume that's because you got other things to do. But, yeah, I'll watch it, you know, later. Which is fine. I don't care. Yeah. Watch it whenever. Yeah. Watch it on hump day. Freaking. As long as you're watching. I know the majority of our views are on Sunday. Yes. And then it goes up a little bit from there. Yeah, a little bit. And then trails off at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's getting prepared for the new episode. Oh, yeah. This one ain't going to have no wolves. Ooh, I'm sad. I am sad. Especially the wolves. Again. I want a wolf. I want one, too, but I already got four dogs, so. Can we put wolf ears on them? Oh, we can put wolf ears on. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. As you shall know by now, this is Adventures with Matt and Timmy. Because he's Matt. And that's Timmy sometimes. Most times. So, what are we going to date, Timmy? I don't know. That ain't no lie. We're going to drive around aimlessly. So, anyway. Anyway. We are going to head out of here, aren't we? Yes, we are. See you guys soon. Yep.
What up? How are you guys doing? Going on. There, I said something. About time. <laughs> I was starting to worry about you. I was trying to be mute, but those of Sorry. you that know me know that I'm not mute at yeah, all. Nowhere near. I just keep yapping. Yapping, yapping, Game yapping. Mostly. I just like to hear myself talk. Sorry, Timmy. Yeah, I know. So anyway. Can you say something? Can you say something? Did you say something? Y'all. There we go again. Y'all. 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 Really, no offense to the southern people. I don't even live in the south. As you he just have south. all seen, the, the house, the mansion. Who was it? Put me on the spot. <laughs> the Kerbertsons. Was it Kerbertson? I know the second owner was the McDonald's. Yeah, that the second owner was McDonald's. Kerbertson or Kerbertson? Or, yeah, something like that. So, oh, that's the dash party. Yeah, we're just gonna look at it real quick. Yeah. Insert music now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Kerbertson. Kerbertson, yes. Yeah, see? That, <laughs> right there. <laughs> He's special. So anyway, people, that house, let's tell you, 1892, so, somewhere in there? 92-ish, when they built it in 18. Yeah, yeah 18. It's A After the Civil War. Yeah, it took them two years to construct it. Yes. And it's 20,000 square feet. Yes, plus. And there's three levels and a basement. And a basement. And a basement. And you know, the same shame part about it is, you know, you know, we discussed two families own this house. Yeah. The second family boarded up the servant quarters. Which was the third floor. Yes. And it was completely unfinished as far as, you know, looking nice. You know, servants. Yes. You know, that and the other half was your child's playroom. Yeah, they, they had the, the playroom upstairs because the servants were up there. And exactly. That was primarily who was watching their children. Exactly. And okay. it, it was... It was pretty cool to... There, there was a distinct line from coal dust. Yes. And it was, it was really cool because it was untouched from that time. Yes, and said, as our tour guy said, that's probably why they developed emphysema or whatever else they may have got. Yeah. And uh, the gold, amount of gold leaf in that house. Oh, God, that was extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, just the whole thing was just, you know, one of those moments, you know. As, as much as you wanted to film it, you just wanted to take everything in. I know. I didn't film nearly as much <laughs> as I was going to. Bad job. There, there was You're a fire. There, there's a window that I know I got in the video that has multicolors. I guess during the winter, winter solstice, yep, yep. It, it hits the window just right. Between 11 and 11, 15, as she said. Yep. For about 15 minutes. And it hits the chandelier in the family quarters, which is second floor. And the picture she showed, that was freaking. Awesome. Yes, walls, a chandelier, the floor, but you can only sit on the second floor. Yeah. Can't see it from the first floor, you can't see it from the servants' quarters. I mean, I don't know, maybe on the servants' quarters you might be able to glimpse down at it if he was at the top of the stairs looking down. Yeah. They you sit that way. But as, you know, they are servants, I'm sure the servants did get to see it. Oh, they're yeah, all over the place. Definitely. The basement's where the original kitchen was. Yes. And that was pretty cool. Yes, except... Thank you, American Legions. Yes. They they took possession of it, what was it, in, like, 1950s? Somewhere in there, yeah. For like, 20 years they had it, and unfortunately, they just... A, didn't know what they had. B, they just didn't care. Yeah. C, probably a mixture of both. Yeah. The basement where the kitchen is, they poured, yeah, probably about four least, foot slab of least. concrete. To support, what was it, water bowlers, right? Uh, yeah, water heaters and shit. Yeah, yeah. Why, why they couldn't 
made a small pad in there instead for that. Yeah. I mean, basically, you could put you no know, one of those trays under your water heater, and it would serve the purpose. The uh, so the wood stove is permanent now. It's yeah, yeah. There's no taking that thing out. I, I wouldn't anyway, because it's cool. Oh, very cool. And, and by the way, that that stove, if you did you get a picture of the stove? I do believe there's a shot. Okay. I can't remember exactly the name of the company, but that stove, I remember being she was telling us that. That particular model of stove was the last yes. one that company ever did. Because the two people that founded that split off. Yes. Which is sad. And they were based in Louisville. Yes, I think it was Ray Roger maybe or something like that. Something. Something similar to that at least. But now, you know, after that you would only get one of their names on the stove. So that, that's pretty cool. Yes. And the fellow that owned the house originally, him and his first wife, he was married. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three times. Apparently he liked company. <laughs> he liked a woman's company. Apparently. But he, he also got to remember, back in those days, people were dying off for exactly. various different exactly. reasons. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, it's basically the dark age as far as medical world went. Yeah, and on top of saying that, amazingly, he lived to, he was like 78. Yes, yes. Well, the third wife she lived, she was like 72-ish, wasn't she? Yeah. 73? Yeah, he, he passed on before she did. And uh, and the other cool thing was he built an, another mansion-style house next to his house for his son. For a wedding present. For a wedding present. Somebody had a good life there, I guess. Yeah, well, he did move from Pennsylvania to here yes. and has gotten the dry goods. Exactly, I mean, he, I mean, he, he, he earned it, I mean... He definitely earned it. I liked his office too. That oh, that was awesome. I mean, I don't know what pictures got taken in there or whatever, but you know. Yeah. The, the, that'd be an awesome editing office. <sighs> that would just be an interesting office, period. This is true. The house would be interesting. That is also true. I forgot to ask them if they used it for haunted house during the Halloween season. Yeah, we did. No, we kind of got lost into the house. Yes, we did. Actually, I would try to get lost in the house, but she wouldn't let me. No. She was a very good tour guide. Yes, yes. If you guys are interested in old buildings like that, I highly recommend going. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's just one of those instances, you know, you walk in, and from the moment you walk in, you're just like, wow. Yeah. Because, you know, I thought, you know, that time frame, mansion, rich guy... I just didn't realize they was doing that kind of work back then. Yeah. I, I mean, at least as far as Homestead went. Yes. And the... No, not to mention, no, also the whole air ventilation system they had. Oh, my gosh. I can't even begin to explain <laughs> that. That blew my mind for that okay. time period. Okay, I'm going to explain it the best I can. The front porch, you had like this nice little crate that you can see. And that actually pulls the air in. To the they basement. Have, yeah, yeah, and they have this um, ventilator, more or less, that pulls it, you know, sucks it into the house. And then from there, they have pipes that run in throughout the house. And it keeps the air circulated that way. Yeah, it's kind of like their, uh, their water system. They were one of the first houses in Indiana that had indoor plumbing. Yes. And... Uh, they had a cistern above, so it was on the third floor, that rainwater would collect in from the gutters and supply the water. And then, when, if it was dry season, they had a cistern down in the basement, and they would literally hand pump it. Yes. And for the warm water, they had a little storage tank sitting behind the, the, uh, the stove. Yeah. yeah, so to warm it up, so they had warm water for exactly. warm baths. Exactly. I mean, you know, and... You know, when you consider the time frame, that's just, like, really amazing. I mean, honestly, that ventilation system blew me away because I didn't think about them having that back in that time frame. No, I, I would, yeah. And the other cool thing was downstairs, there was probably, what, 14-foot ceilings? Oh, yeah. At least. 
I, I think it was more like 15. Okay. Somewhere in that neighborhood. And upstairs, the ceilings were a tad bit taller. They were uh, like 22 foot. It was this, oh, this house, man. Oh, yeah, it was huge. I mean, I mean, you, you look at it from the outside, you know it's big. But you don't realize how big it is until you get in there. Yeah. And, uh... And the servants' quarters, those are only like eight foot ceilings. Yeah, yeah, because you no, know, once again, it goes back to you guys are my servants. You no, know, we're giving you a place to room and board. Yep. We're paying you a salary to take care of us. But you no, know, you don't have nothing too fancy. And, and the other cool thing is, every year or every day, they discover something new. Yes. Um, so, so the American Legion. As Timmy was talking about. What can be said about them guys? Them dudes put new walls up, took walls down. That should never have been gone down. Painted over. Yeah, I think that... That bothers me more. Yeah, I think that <clears throat> it wallpapered yeah. over things. That was beautiful. Maybe they just wasn't kind of legion enough? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And they took a load-bearing wall down. Yeah. When, <laughs> when you entered that bedroom and you look and you realize where you're at, you're above a room that spans. There's exactly. no walls underneath it. Exactly. So this wall that they took out not only supports the ceiling down below, but it supports what's above that one, too. You don't just take down walls willy nilly. Exactly. I was going to say, I'm not even a construction guy, and I knew that. Yeah. I, Since I seen I was just like, they did what? Yeah. And not only that, they took out a fireplace. Gosh. It, yeah, because they had water damage in that room. Yeah. And then they just completely destroyed that room after they had water damage. Yeah, they... Totally took down that ceiling, yeah, and put a new ceiling up, which is a major loss because the artwork that was in those ceilings, gosh, were amazing. Yeah, can you imagine a? I mean, fortunately for the house itself, it's actually involved in the Indiana State Museums now. Yep. So at least it's again properly taken care of and looked after, and but you know, it's just. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that stuff. It's heartbreaking. I mean, it really is. I mean, because, you know, you have this gorgeous, beautiful piece of art that you're living in. Speaking of a piece of art, the artist that actually originally did it is from what is now known as Germany. So he was all the way over here. I can't imagine how long it took him to do that. Oh no! I mean that, you know, that little trim work that looks like crown molding. Yeah. I mean, I forget the proper term of it, but I mean, and, and honestly, when you're, I don't know how well it's going to look in video form, but when you look at it, it actually looked like crown molding. Yeah, on, on the walls. Yes. No, no, the upper piece around it, it's just like wow. Well, that too. Because there is the uh, the dining room. Yes. Had, uh, granted, you know, it's shading and all that, but it looked three dimensional off the walls, and not to mention the artwork up on top. Of exactly. It three exactly. It was amazing. Exactly. You know, the cool thing. I also know the cool thing was the chandeliers. Yeah. The, the original. The stage. original standard chandeliers. What? No, they now are you know white ball friendly, but you know back in the day they had gas piped into them. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, well, we was told, how, how nerve wracking would that be if that was your job to like them? Yeah, I would not like that <laughs> job at all. <laughs> Is it blowing up today? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but I, I just, just the artwork that they're discovering and fixing up. Exactly. So it's it's original artwork. Exactly. I, I, I guess the way she explained it is, they restore it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then they put a full board over it and redo it. Well, they to do, protect the original. Yeah, yes, yes. That way they can actually, if they ever have to go back and do something, they just look at the form board board of it. That way they don't have to peel it back off. And, yeah. 
I, I mean, the woman that's doing that, she's doing an impeccable job. Oh, gosh. She has to make her own stencils. Yes. Yeah, it's just mind-blowing, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just, no. You know, honestly, if you, if you was to build a house today, replicate it. That'd be a multi-million dollar home. Oh, God. I, I, yeah. Multi-million. Right? I mean, probably fast approaching... No. Nine figures. Oh. Easily. Uh, especially today's lumber oh, prices. Yeah. Well, well, you got to think that. You <laughs> spur it, though. I mean. Yeah. Well. I mean, you got faster on it, but, you know, the how house is spur it, because, you know, we've seen the brick on the, in the base. Yeah. Right? This is true. And it ran all the way up. It is a brick house, and then they stuccoed or yeah, plastered. plastered. Yeah, plastered. So, but yeah, I mean, you know, when he bought the house, or when they built the house, it was, what was it, 122000 Something like that. 222000 somewhere in that neighborhood. They auctioned off for almost nothing. Yeah, it was like seven grand yeah. it auctioned off for. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, it a couple of years after the auction, it was uh, estimated to be like $5 million home at that point. Exactly. Oops, this is... And technically, to me, that's a priceless home. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's you no know, funny that you mentioned it that way because the third wife, you know, after he passed or whatever, she sold it, and then she went to Louisville. Yeah. Which his son did as well because you know his son still took care of the third it's, wife. Yeah, his stepmom. Yes, which was very cool. You know, that was really cool to hear that. No, because he could have easily stayed where he was. And... Oh, I didn't. Sh- I, I did not film the dressing room, but <laughs> man, I was yeah. The the waist is like this. That it, it was tiny. Yeah. Yes. Just to think of my <laughs> large butt being on a corset and getting all my guts sucked up. Good <laughs> God, that would hurt. I think we should do that next week. No, oh, come on, it'd be fun. Matt's not going to get in the corset. We'll put Timmy in it. Okay. And I'll tie. Will you? Of course. <laughs> so anyway, also, probably one of the last things you guys are going to see in the video, this building outside, the old grain silo, the reason why we included that, that was McDonald's. That was his second owner. Yeah. That was his business. At one time I had all the silos and everything to go with it because it's right there by the rail. Yep, green flower. Yes, yes. And it had its own little yard, yada, yada. I'll, I would bore you about all those yeah. details. But we could talk for hours probably on this. Yeah, but uh, my dogs are saying otherwise. Yes, exactly. So I got a lot of big guys in. Yeah. So... Please go to our Teespring. Always. And of course. Go to YouTube. Yeah, which that, you should be on right now. You should be on there. Cause Not Facebook, YouTube. Even though Facebook could do you there, but no, we want you on YouTube. Yeah, and we want you to create a username, hit that subscribe button for us. Like it. Share. Comment. And enjoy. Definitely enjoy. Maybe get some laughs, because this guy's almost funny. Yeah, this guy's even almost funnier. I'm not. Uh, this slow guy, he's pretty funny looking. Oh, it's just because it's a ruckus. It is a ruckus. You burp up this. Anyway. Ruckus in that house. I'm not even going to talk about the little tiny room that nobody has any idea what it is. I'm still saying it's a time out room. <laughs> You've been bad. Go upstairs. No, no, please, no. Not in that room. Yeah, honestly, that's what it kind of looked like. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I mean, but the, yeah. the, the rich are eccentric for a reason. Yes, they are. And the rich keep getting richer. Yes. All right, ET. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Until next time. See you.